In this presentation, we'll be calculating power in a series RC circuits. At this time, we have calculated the voltage drop on the resistor, the current at the resistor, the voltage drop on the capacitor, have that same current at the capacitor, and we also have the total current and the impedance, which is the total opposition of current flow. We can use any one of the three power calculation formulas to figure out power at any individual component. If we wanted the total power, we could use total current and total voltage, I times E, and get the volt amps for the apparent power. We could use I squared times R, possibly at the resistor, um, the current squared times the value of resistance for the wattage. And the last one, we could use the capacitive voltage drop squared divided by the value of capacitive reactants to get the reactive power or the VARs. So what I did is I used I times E all the way around. So P is going to be equal to I times E. First one I'll do is the resistive power or your true power, so 1.68 amps times 50 ohms of resistance will give us a wattage of 141.12 watts. And then I times Z for the capacitor, 1.68 amps of current flow times 85 0.73 volts will give us a reactive power or the VARs 144.02 VARs and for building the power triangle the adjacent side or is your wattage or your true power so that's going to be 141.12 watts and the reactive side, or your reactive power, your VARs, we have 144.02 VARs. And to solve for total, we can either apply Pythagorean's theorem, and we can get power total would be the square root of the watts squared plus the VARs squared. And that would give us a power total, or we could, once again, use our totals. We could use I total times E total and get total power that way. Either way, you're going to end up with approximately 201.6 volt amps for total power.